there has been no money spent in the Ministry of New Growth Industries. We don't even have a budget. So it's no money lost there. Where the money is going to be lost is, in fact, in the referendum, um, how you look at that, because that could be very costly. But at the end of the day, um, it's not something that's just what I believe in. It's what makes sense. We have to make it make sense. Right now, the law doesn't make any sense that you cannot grow, you cannot purchase, but you can have. Does that make any sense? It certainly doesn't make any sense to me. And so the government and cabinet saw it fit for us to create an industry which will not just create jobs, which will not just attract new and fresh investments to the country, but it will create a new revenue stream, a tax revenue stream. And we're talking from the sale of the cards to tourists. Um, that is estimated at around $10 million a year just in sale of cards, you know, without selling one single gram of cannabis. That's a whole new income and revenue that the government never had. And so it is being able to say, this is a situation we have in Belize. It is legal for you to have 10 grams, but where will you get it? I think that we have a very um, sophisticated and educated population. So you're asking me about crystal ball. I do believe that we will all arrive at the conclusion, not all, uh, but a majority will arrive at the conclusion that it only makes sense for us to have an industry that we can control, that we can regulate, that we can ensure that children under 21 do not have access to cannabis. I don't think that the government will move forward with the bill if it is that a majority of the voters feel that it's not, uh, at this time, it's not the best thing for us to do.